Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we finished Inside. Uh, really a really good adventure game, but the ending... I didn't understand the ending, and I haven't uh, looked up a YouTube video just to have it explained to me. But I mean, it was disturbing, it was unsettling, it was very horror-esque and kind of morbid, but uh, I didn't really get the ending. It was a good game, though. I mean, a nice follow-up to the guys who made Limbo. I mean, I don't know what else you can say about it. Play it. It's pretty short. Took me about three and a half hours. Uh, we're going to do another indie third-person adventure game, similar to Rhyme. It's called AER Memories of Old. When I was looking up the developer and the publisher, I found out that they actually went out of business, which makes me kind of sad. Because this game came out in 2017, and it looks like the type of game that I would enjoy. So, yeah, sad face. Three years too late. But uh, we're going to do them some justice and play it live. Hey, Dom Daddy, how are you? Congrats, man. You're a big brain. You got 100%? Uh, over 100% on one of your classes, right? Was it uh, the Java class, I think? And then a math course? Doing good, my friend. Forgotten key. Forgotten key. No longer in business. But we're going to play this game. It was our first and only game they ever made. So, yeah. I mean, look at it. Doesn't it look kind of like Rhyme? Thank you, buddy. No problem. When your next set of classes start? Oof. So I got this uh, mango java fruit from Starbucks. Ah, uh, it's excellent. Oh. Hmm. Ock, listen. I know you're eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands and skies, uh, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them, three temples here in the Land of Gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide, shattered the lands, and left us with islands in the sky. The priestess Kara prayed by the lighthouse and found answers that helped our people survive the Great Cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine, so go on in, Ock. I will wait for you outside. Oh yeah, this already looks like my type of game. Two to three weeks, nice. Well-deserved break, well-deserved break. Hey, sleeper, how are you? So, okay, well, the controller works, it's always good. Can't, all right, so why is the map? Uh, center camera. That's it. You can't jump or anything. Jump. Now we can jump. Howdy. Hi, I'm well. Good, good, good. We, uh, we went out grocery shopping this morning. And it is hot. Super, super hot. And it was crowded. I actually ended up taking an afternoon nap. Old people problems. Just want to see what's over here. Cool outfit. Yeah. It does look pretty cool. I'm guessing we were supposed to go up. Yeah, let's go up. This is effectively the tutorial. Is that... Read. This tablet is really worn. A part of the text is unreadable. In the land of gods, there were three in three houses, slumbering in eternal skies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to go shopping in a bit, dreading it. Yeah. Um... If I could just order groceries for a reasonable price online, like without all the fees, I totally would, because I cannot stand grocery shopping. I go through a grocery store like I'm on fire. Like, it's just, let's, what's on the list? Let me go get it. Let's just team up and do this, because I don't want to be there any longer than I have to. The memory of light in our heart, shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the sh world shattered and we became the people of the sky. So apparently at one point this continent was one entire continent, then it got shattered and now there are these floating islands. Three of them. Uh, probably that way. 
Yeah, probably that way. Do you see that? Yeah, let's just follow the main path. Let's not dilly dally. I enjoy it, but not the extreme heat. Yeah, I grew up in Florida, so I was used to 90 to 100 degrees with 100% humidity. Enter the Hall of Memory, where sleeps the light of Kara. It never went out while she was alive. Ask, and maybe it will shine forth to answer. Oh, did you guys see the big news? I saw it while I was doing the countdown. So, not without getting too political, but Joe Biden has selected Kamala Harris as her vice president, as his vice president, excuse me. Yeah, so it's official. Facebook official. Relationship status, vice president to Joe Biden. Yeah, she was always kind of the favorite. She was always kind of the favorite. Hey, D, what's going on? Woot. Hey, D, did you see Kamala Harris got picked for VP today? Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> hey, Sean. Thank, thank you guys for the subs. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, music makes you want to play Maniac Mansion again. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I like the low poly nature of uh, the protagonist. That's pretty cool. Sub a dub dub? Yeah. Biden will win, thank the heavens. I hope so. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Sub a dub dub. Yeah, I've been following it very closely for quite some time. Oh, lantern. Follow the light. Oop. What happens if I jump? Oop, I didn't even jump. these lanterns will burn long enough to guide the young pilgrim. Alright, follow the lanterns. Got it. I refuse to talk about politics on Twitch, but I will say woot! Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was hesitant to say it too, but it happened like in the ten minutes I was counting down. So I was like, oh my god! I got all excited. <laughs> but yeah, so... We'll see how it goes. Ewok, Maverick, what's going on? Are you at work? Playing a new game. Air, A-E-R, Memories of Old, by now defunct company, uh, Forgotten Key. They released this back in 2017 and I guess went out of business due to poor sales. Uh, Epic gave this to us for free and it seemed like a game I would be interested in playing. So, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm not hesitant, ban me tr Trumpistas. Daddy is a homo and anti-Trump. Mm. Yeah. Ock, you made it out okay. Thank the gods you're alright. What happened in there? I thought the worst when the cave collapsed. Is that... the lantern? Hmm, strange. That lantern is an ancient artifact called Kara's Light. Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Dinah? Dinah, when you arrive. She will tell you where to go next. Uh, when jumping, transform. Mm. Ah! Leave me alone. I want to talk to you. Oh, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's a little, little too fast for me. Let me just 
just, you know, look around just a minute before I go gallivanting elsewhere. I guess we're flying. Wait, what's this? Hold on. Uh, I guess that doesn't do anything. Alright, let's go fly. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, uh, no, no, no. The, uh, the flying is inverted. I don't like that. Cool mechanic. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It's just, I wish it would slow down just a little bit. Alright, now where do we go? Hold on. Music's interesting. When flying, reset camera. All right, so he said follow the kites. Let's follow the kites. Uh, I miss it. <laughs> I'm pretty terrible at following directions here. Hold on. Looking around. Oh, oh sh shit. Oh, I'm not good at this. Hold on, where are we? Oh, well, there's a ship. An airship. Let's try it. not do anything. Oh my god. Right there? Yeah. Hmm. Hello, Ark, and welcome. What was that noise we heard? What? You made it out okay. I'm John, by the way. Dana and I take care of the high, uh, lighthouse here on the island. We try to make sure that nothing weird happens in the land of gods. Not an easy job considering all the strange old ruins and wonders here. I haven't had much time to visit them since Aaron was born, but I don't mind. I think she longs for her adventure, which makes her father proud. If you have the time, I would recommend you go to the Windsock Falls. When the world was whole, a water spirit combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful hair at that. The wind sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds. Thus, the rainbow was born. Not that I've ever seen one myself, but it's a nice story. Anyway, you can find that place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. All right, thank God we have a map, because I am directionally challenged. So north of here, let's talk to Dana. Are you all right, Auk? It was Auk, right? We heard rumblings from Kara's shrine. I'm so glad you made it out. My name is Dana, and welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Edvin, was actually the last one before you. My parents helped him back then. Now I, John, and our daughter, Erin, will help you. If you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We are here to guide you, after all. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the land of gods. Kara sealed them a long time ago, right after the Great Divide. There's a sigil in the ground close to each temple. That's where we gather to pay respect to the spirits, and so you too should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach with an open mind. The Eventide Sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. Okay. Northwest. Let's go northwest first. Ock, Ock, that's your name, right? Right? What happened? Did you see any ghosts or spirit animals? Treasures? Secrets? I want to explore too. It's so unfair that I'm stuck on this island. Sometimes I go on adventures with my parents, but it's still adventures. We once went to a super awesome place. It's up north. And it's kind of snowy. With this huge statue. It's kind of broken, but still cool. And my name is Aaron. So you know. All right, let's go uh, northwest. Uh, that's southwest. 
Ooh. All right. I will. F oh, I got a flap. I got a flap. So we're looking for a sigil on the ground. If the game is too loud, let me know. I did some adjustments on the settings. I was watching my inside stream the other day and I noticed it seemed kind of quiet. Uh... Ah. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just going in here. Right? Probably further. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I see it. Is there a way to slow down? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. If there's a way to slow down. What about this? Uh, let me look at the controls. Uh, no. Mm. Okay. I just have to wing it. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. Why? Oh, do you make me do this? Okay. Got it. Okay. Pretty game, I'll give it that. Yeah, let's go over here. Right, he said a water spirit that combs her hair. Ooh. Perfect landing. For our people was restored by the wisdom of her words and the refuge she gave us. The spirit animals helped her hide the way in, behind falling waves marked by sun and moon in the close northeast. Okay, so the entrance is northeast, covered by sun and moon. Alright, I mean, let's go northeast, right? Falling waves. So does that mean like behind a waterfall? I would assume so. Just looking around. Marked by sun and moon. I see it right here. Ugh. Falling waves. All right. Marked by sun and moon. Let's look at our map. I'm guessing it's that light tower, right? That would be the obvious pick. Let's go for it. Those are glowing. Let's go check out the glowy things. This right here. What does this do? 
This is really nothing. Alright, what's here? Oh, here's sun. What the hell? Oh, here we go. Use. Go to the other one, I guess. Maybe that'll activate something. Pretty game, yeah. Alright, and this is the moon. There we go. Okay, I have to find out where that waterfall is at. Oh, it's right behind me. Let's go. I don't like that she put a, puts away her lantern every time. It should just be automatically out. Just go straight through. Yeah. It's like knockoff Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Spyro with Wind Waker graphics. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's interesting so far. I just don't quite know what the gameplay is going to be like. I mean, I can fly and I can pull out a lantern. What else can I do here? Or is this effectively a walking simulator of sorts? I can fuck with that aesthetic. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay, so there's no interior map. Power up. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay, so sun and moon meet? Or maybe we just need to make a a, sh a permanent shape. FYI, I installed King's Quest 1. Uh-oh. The AGD version? You're gonna have fun. It's a good game. There we go, I made the, the moon. What does that do? And open up a door. Yeah, if this is the extent of the puzzles, I am going to have an easy time. Got a key. Ah, this is pretty. And the music is really good, too. You know I'm a sucker for a vague and mysterious story. Alright, I have a key. What's next? AGD, yeah. Yeah, let me know what you, uh, are you gonna stream it or are you gonna play it offline? Can I move this stuff around? No, that's, that is it. I am done in this temple. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm done here. Okay. I'll stream it, yes. Can't wait, I can't wait. I have my notifications on. The hell? Is this the fox from Rhyme? The older one? Hello, little wanderer. You took your time. Were you perhaps led astray? Or just followed by the slow one? I think his name is Medvin. Slow as few shifters I've met, but sharp, intelligent. Do you know what it is you found? You hold both light and key to lead you into twilight. Both dusk and dawn, I believe. Southwest of here, there is a temple, the silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answer there. Go now, bird faster than Medvin. <laughs> Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones you slumber. All right. Thank you, two-headed fox, or two-tailed fox. Thank you for not eating me. So southwest, southwest. Temple. It's back the way we came, right? Let's 
let's go. I'm guessing maybe if we go back to that water area, now that we have the key, it'll open that up. Perhaps. Come on. Set speed to ludicrous. Where are we at? Yeah, this glowy thing. Let's see if this opens. Yes, okay. It's a temple where sun and moon meet. Should I take the stairs? Ah, uh, fuck it. Alright, this must be a big level. That took a few seconds. Evan Tide Sanctuary. No map. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're seeing just silhouettes of that were previously alive? Before the Great Divide, maybe? Tablet. The Twilight Guardian opened her eyes at the light of sun and moon, shining together. She sat down and calmly took both in her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky, so that people may dream at all. She is the heartbeat of the seasons. At the center of the world, a breath of life and order. That's me. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. Man is lost, unknowingly in danger. To his own mind, always a stranger. Oh, damn, this is... Yeah, it's kind of big map. Uh, we'll keep going up. No, 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 that's part two. I don't want to read part two. I want to read part one. I am Kara of the Thunder Islands. I had a strange dream that I will record here so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of gods, trying to understand our heritage. As I reached out to touch some of the ruins, it suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes, and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. In my dream, it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up into the starry sky. Far away on these steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. The 
God spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men. As he showed it to me, I felt it stir and come between us, darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out at the pull of this dark void, and I woke. I could not speak for three days, but I set out to the ancient temples immediately. If what I have seen is true, the gods are alive, and they need our help, as we need theirs. Can I fly? Oh, I cannot change here. Okay. So we need to figure out how to activate that. Uh, let's go over to the right. I saw a glowy thing over here. Okay, so four platforms to open that door. I wonder if it stays lit. Jump that. Oh, I can jump that high. Uh, two. There's number three right there. Uh, okay, where's the fourth one at? Probably back the way I came. here. Uh, how do I get to that? Oh, I see. Oh, dear lord. The jumping is a little... a little temperamental. You can't really change directions once you start jumping. Uh, let's get back up. Yeah, like if I jump forward, that's how far I can move to the right. <laughs> Tom. Let's do it. Let's do it. This dramatic reading. In a world beset by plagues, drought, lag, and unreliable internet connections, one viewer has redeemed their points and taken control of the stream. What they do could save civilization or end it. This summer, we invite you to join us for a dramatic reading of their message. Will it be funny? Will it be original? Will it be vaguely sexual in nature? Find out because their message starts now.
Hold on. Got to get rid of that reverb. Yeah, I was doing some cleanup on my like my stream resources, so I moved a couple things around to better organize things in folders. And yeah, the crowd video probably probably got moved. So broken link. I need to fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. Thank you, Dom. Thank you for the points. All right, let me go ahead and get this back up. I'll be better. So go get some chapstick, dude. I guess we're just crossing over, right? Yeah. Can I make that jump? No. Okay, I'll go be right back. <laughs> Put some chapstick on those ashy ass lips. lips. Yeah, when I was taking uh, Zyrtec for my allergies for the longest time, like a weird side effect that I had was uh, getting really chapped lips. Hmm. It was super bad. Once I switched to Claritin, it was fine. Alright, stairs going down. just came here, right? What was even the point of this? Hey, Nyx, what's up, man? What was even the point of this? Uh, I mean, let's just jump down. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing that we need to go down here. Maybe not. New game today, yes. A game called AER. I'm guessing it's pronounced Air. Memories of Old. It was made by uh, the first effort, actually, by an indie studio who I just found out today is uh, defunct. They went out of business. Uh, called Forgotten Key. They made this game back in 2017. But so far, it's interesting. They gave us like a basic plot line of what was going on. Uh, the world used to be one continent on the ground and then the Great Divide happened, and now you have these three islands floating in the sky. And I think it happened due to this event called the Void. So right now we're trying to repair the temples to either defeat the Void or something. But I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. I activated this. Oh, I guess I need to activate this part here. So the the sun is activated, the moon needs to be activated. So I need to get up there. How do I... How do I get up there? It's probably back this way. Yeah, probably. Ah, my moist lips are back. <laughs> Welcome back, Dom. Your moist lips are here. They're here to stay. Hola, mis amigos. Hey, Joe. How are you? How did your uh, divinity stream go last night? All right. I am just trying to figure out how to get up there. That is where I need to go. I'll be working while I try to feed myself. No problem. No problem. Uh, maybe, maybe we gotta go up here. Hmm. The collision detection is uh, kind of odd. Ugh. Jump. Get up there. Okay. So I think we just we do this, right? I don't want to fall. Platforming. I mean, at least it's third person, not first person platforming. Alright, where next? I don't 
don't know where to go next. Oh, I could have just gone up here. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a tent. Hmm. Divinity 2 is a great game. Long, but good. The combat can be a bit grueling at times. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like a very, very strategic game, combat-wise. Uh, what am I doing? I don't see... I can't change into a bird. Let me just look around. This is where I came from, right? Yeah, this is where I came from. First person platforming. Hate it. Hate it with every fiber in my being. Do I hate first person platforming? Oh, uh, what? Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything on this side. I don't think I did. No. This door's open. You really need to play Half-Life. I actually have played Half-Life. I've played through Half-Life all the way. Uh, Half-Life 1, 2, Episode 1 and 2. I haven't played Opposing Force and I haven't played uh, Blue Shift. Best first person platform. Yeah, I don't remember it being an issue in Half-Life. It was it was alright. But for some reason, when I was playing Jedi, Jedi, Out, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, I was having so many issues trying to get over to this vent at the very top of the of the level. Oh, we didn't go over here, right? That's right. We skipped this last time. It's over here. It's a glowy thing, so I assume it's where we need to go. Oh, what the hell? Was that a glitch? Or is this normal? Uh... So we're falling. I think the game just glitched. This normal. Yeah, totally. Totally normal. Alright. Uh, this is a mini game, yeah. Press A to Jason. Okay. Oh my god, didn't sa please tell me this thing has autosave. This is called, how much patience do you have? I can't exit. Oh, there we go. I was hitting continue. I stupid. Continue. Please don't start us off right there. Oh lord. Oh lord, it started us at the beginning. Alright, well we know what to do, so we didn't lose too much time. That was a really bad glitch. I hope this is not going to be a thing while we play this game. Because, uh, I really don't have patience for it. Alright, let's try this again. Well, let's try this again. Uh, we're not going to read that. Just in case it activates a puzzle. Alright, so let's go to the left and maybe, like, jump over those stairs. Okay. Yeah, that was odd. For a second, I'm like, oh, it's part of the game. It's, you know, a metaphor for something. Alright, let's try this again. You reacted calmly, though. If I could give you some club crackers in your favorite soda, I would. Four club crackers? You, sir, you are a generous soul. Uh... God, I don't want to go down these stairs. Let me jump. Alright, we're good. I'm jumping over all stairs from now on. I don't trust stairs. Fuck stairs. Alright, I can get behind this puzzle.
I try to be, it runs in my blood. Alright, let's go. Let's activate this. Oh, that opened this door to wherever this is. Uh, okay. Sure. Let's go up these stairs. Ah, these stairs are scaring me. Oh, really? Light platform. All right, we're up top, so this works. Hmm. Stairs are evil here. Yes, don't trust stairs. Do not trust them. Even the water is freaking me out at this point. When the world was still new and the creator had drawn the lands, the spirit animals gathered to talk. The fox said there are new animals around. They walk on two feet. The crane said a new bird? The fox shook its head and said they have no wings. A monkey said I have seen them too. They are without fur and they cannot climb well. An owl said they fear the night and drive it away with fire. An otter said they build nests on the land, but they are not one with it. A deer said, they are loud and do not know how to walk the woods. A bear said, they are like cubs who do not know the way home. The fox cocked its head and said, yes, that is why we have to help them. Help them? The other animals looked stunned. Yes, the fox said. Their minds see eternity and they are lost and afraid. They need something to hold on to or they will harm themselves, the land and us, the fox said. What do you propose? asked a hare. I propose a pact, said the uh, fox. If one of them can talk to us, we offer him the bond with the land. The fox continued, if he accepts, he can take the shape of one of us, the one he made the pact with, and he will be one with the land, and still see beyond the veil, and he can guide and guard his people, and so we all will be at peace, said the fox. The other animals saw the wisdom in this and agreed to it, and so some humans can become one with the world, and the chosen were called whisperers. That's me. I'm a whisper. I'm a whisper. Stairs and ladders are evil in most games. Dude, ladders, ladders in first person games, what the hell? What the hell? Especially in like early first person games. They didn't tie it to a uh, to an animation. So it was just like you were walking up the stairs. I can't tell you how many times I would fall off the ladder and fall to my death. Or get stuck and get shot to death as I'm trying to get off the ladder. Yeah. Cal says, creak, creak, creaky, creak. It's too weird for me. No, it does not! The cow calls Shazoo. The monkey goes macaw. I haven't seen Family Guy in years. You know what was a blast from, a, from the past? Uh, we went over to our neighbors last weekend, and they loaded up Archer. I have not seen Archer in years, but I've forgotten how funny it was. I never got around to finishing the series, but I remember the first couple of seasons were just hilarious. Horrible ladders in Half-Life. Yeah. Yeah. If there's not an animation tied to climbing ladders in the FPS, it's going to be kind of trashy. All right. I need... Sun, sun, sun. I came from there. So I guess let's go up and... Up and over? Right? What's over here? Hold on. I, I don't trust that. We're not going there. Uh, let's go over here. Archer's so good. Yeah. Okay. 
can't activate that. And I can't activate this. No. So probably something... Oh, okay. It's tied to this. Uh, that glows. Let's not go over there because there's no bridge. No other way to get over. Alright. Uh, let's figure this out. Uh, every once in a while the screen glitches. It seriously worries me. Or maybe there's mechanics that don't involve having your lantern out? Uh, I don't trust you. This just takes us back the way we came, right? And there's no map, right? Okay. Just confirming that I'm on my own here. Oh, what's this? Power up. Oh, I see. So it's only two spots I can go to. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I see, I see. I need to get it on that diamond. Right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's try... Alright, let's go back. And this should move 180, right? There we go. That powered those up. That makes sense. Okay, let's go back. Ooh, let me save. Right? Yeah, let's save. Uh, this way. Power these up. I'm glad that worked, because I wasn't sure what I was doing. Uh, okay, let's cross over. Uh, I need to figure out how to get over there. But I assume we can go up and around. Is it 
turn. Turns. Okay. Still have no idea what I'm doing. Just flipping switches. Oh, another. Oh, okay, I think I get it. So if I do both of these puzzles, both of these stairways will come down, and once they come down, this will activate or something. Okay, I got it. Let's save it. Because I don't want to do that again. And we already know how to do this puzzle. So let's just go. I don't think we can die from heights, right? Yeah, so we can just jump down. that. that staircase down and hopefully something happens. Alright, gotta finish up work. Things are slightly crazy today. I'll catch up with you later, sir. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Alright, D. Thank you for the sub and thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you later. We'll still need to do some Gloomhaven tabletop if you're still interested. Maybe this weekend. Alright, this should activate it. This should finish it. Right? Good. Sure, just hit me up. All right, we'll do. Temple done. This kind of feels like Stargate here. I want to save it. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I want to take a screenshot, but Epic doesn't allow you to take screenshots easily. Run screen. Hold on, let me see if that worked. I go to MS Paint. I'm like a tourist every time I play a video game. I'm like, ooh! It worked. Uh, AER. That is cool. Alright, back to the game. A to talk. Come here, little bird. A very long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian. Sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring safe travel on the paths to the land of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led her people to safe shores here in my temple. A long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, but for the power I was lent, tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again, the Void is awakened with great hunger, this time to devour all that is left of our world. But there is still a chance to stop him. Priestess Kara hid three fragments of great power, one in each temple. You have to make three fragments, one again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade to Boliv uh, Bolivian. Bolivia. Oblivion. <laughs> it has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost in the minds of men. That was a Mike Tyson moment. 
but we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. Hey, we got one. Do I have to carry that thing home? It's kind of big. So what is the void, and why is it causing the world to break apart? What does it represent? What does it mean? Fast travel out of here? Yes. I guess we can go all the way north, right? Maybe we can stop by and talk to, uh, to Reyna, but I think we're just gonna go, let's go explore. Yeah. So, so far this game does not have any collectibles that I've seen. I think it's literally just going through the main story. Can I use this wind? I see these little wind tunnels. No. No, I think it's just cosmetic. King's Pass. Looking around. I don't see anything highlighted. It looks like there should be something there. Right? Oof. I, mean, I don't really see anything, though. I don't think there's anything here. If there was something I'm supposed to do here, it would be highlighted. Uh, what is that? Yeah, I guess I just have to come back to this. So, uh, whatever that is. This can't read it. All right, let's just keep going north. Let's see if we can catch this wind here. Now, yeah, doesn't do anything. Where are we? Howling Peaks. Something's glowing. Let's go check it out. Uh, go inside? Yes. So three temples. We've already done one, and it's only been an hour and 15. So this might be a one-stream game. Inside took a little more than two streams. Beartooth. Another tablet. 
Notes on Legends of the Western Clans by Rhett, the Scholar of the Summer Islands. Everything in the Land of Gods is sacred. Especially, there is a shrine called the Lighthouse, which is rumored to be a place of power. Some ancient texts refer to it as the House of the First Light, the cradle of the world where the ancient gods first woke up and walked the lands. Now it just looms as a small black tower made from alien obsidian, lonely and abandoned. A relic in the eyes of our civilization. Is it a mistake that we don't care for what was left to us by our ancestors? I don't know, game. Get my lamp out. There we go. talk to a bear. My lady, welcome. It's an honor to receive you here. You may not know me, but I know who you are. Come, listen to my story. Ah, I still remember the time when Kara was still a cub. It was her first visit to the Land of Gods. Her plan was traveling through. I myself was still young, just over a hundred years, and as chance would have it, they stopped for a rest near my home at the time. I was walking by and she went up to me. She was still without words, but she still but she hugged me and her heart talked to me. Years later she came back. She remembered me, one of her first memories, she said. I offered her a pact, and she had already entered but she had already entered one with the birds of the Thunder Isles. We became good friends, however, and I was the first to meet her after the Great Divide. The creator had split himself to lock away a void growing in his heart. The world crumbled. He had given Kara the task of keeping the pieces of his being safe. Okay. Hmm. Three fragments of great power, the void locked in its prison, and one last piece, his hopes, his dreams, and his love for the world and its beauty. Kara came to me much later again, when the world was calm once more to present the last piece to me. The cub was as small as Kara when we met for the first time, and her name was Mina. Okay. Ah, time flies. Flows so fast. My lady, I thank you for coming here. It was a great pleasure to relive the past for a short while. But the world is growing weary, and it is missing something it once had. I hope for a great ending of this tale, and it seems it's not entirely over just yet. Origami Fields, yeah! Yeah. Definitely has that sort of aesthetic to it. Um, alright, now what? Huh? Supposed to do something? Where to next? Hold on. Okay. Is that it? Okay, so maybe this isn't the second temple. Maybe this is just like flavor text. I don't see anything I can do in here. Maybe we have to come back. Let's come back. They did say it was a temple to the north, so I haven't gone all the way north just yet. I like her hair. Okay, let's go uh, explore some more, I suppose. Alright, uh, let's just go up to this corner here. Northwest. Yes. That looks like the black tower they just mentioned. Oh, let's go over there. Looking for something. It's a 
tell me where to go. I see it. What looks to be an entrance there? Oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. Ugh. What is here? I'll read. A place of sacred solitude and peace from the buzzing of the world. After it stood clear that the world needed healing, the bear froze the door shut and froze the key at another place. The Cave of Harmony of Bells and Ice, east of here among the mountains of the Howling Peaks. Alright, so the key is east. Let's go get that key. Cave of Harmony. Where's this freaking cave at? It's Howling Peaks. Uh, that looks like it might be it now. Isn't that where the bear is at? No. Whoa! Oh, damn. That didn't work. Now this is different. Just slow glide it. I don't think this is a bear cave. This is new. Right? Yep, this is most definitely new. The Cave of Harmony. Alright. It's number two, right? What does this do? Oh, okay, so I have to activate all these platforms. Hopefully it stays activated. Looks like it. Hopefully not in any particular order or sound. Get the key, go in the temple. So I'm guessing this is the format. Find a key, go to temple, get the fragment, rinse and repeat. What is that? Is that my fox friend? Yes, it is. My friend, the little wanderer, found her way to the far north. Are you cold? Even I can feel the chill through my fur. Might be the hot-bloodedness of humans. Well, at least you made the air shimmer in here. Like the stars found at the roof of the world, where the air is crisp and clear, and storms never rage. A key in the ice to break ice once more. Go west, go north, but don't freeze to death as other creatures before you. Alright, come out. Northwest. Got it.
I should probably save if it hasn't auto saved for me. Oh, just saving. Uh, northwest. There it is. Okay. So it does light up to indicate where you need to go next once you get the key. It's just a matter of finding it. Ah! You can generally tell when it's a big level, because the loading takes more than five seconds. Uh, up or left? Up. We're going up. Bought our lantern. I don't know why she ever puts it away. dealing with a silhouette of a woman stairs that are super super scary let's go back we activated one part of this puzzle let's figure out the other stuff Examine. In the beginning, there was a dreamer, a sleeping cold eternity. She dreamed all there is. She dreamed a veil, and behind the veil, she dreamed the creator and the world, modeled from a memory of home. It's very religious. The creator danced into the world, and there he breathed the clouds, and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps, and so made the lands of the north, west, south, and east. Then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with waters, with water from the clouds. And from earth and water he made animals so land and sea would be alive. From stardust and eternity he made gods to walk the lands and look after the world. Alright. Let's fall down, let's just fall down. Yeah. the exit? Yeah, it's the exit. Okay. The stairs. Activate the bells. Oh god, is it a certain order? Oh, I missed. <laughs> See if they're still set. Oh no, you have to do them really fast, okay. No. 
Nope, that doesn't work. I did that very quickly, too. So it's not my fault. Uh, let's go over to the left. Probably something else we need to do first. switch we can activate. What does this do? Okay. Another entrance. I'll go through that in a minute. What about right here? No. Uh, this door is not opening up. Alright. Let's go through the one we just opened. us. Really? Back down the way we came? Right here again. Huh. Okay. Uh, is there anything up here? save it. What can we do down here? Nothing? Nothing. We just went through that. That's originally where we came from. Is there anything on the right side? Besides this door that we can't open. Oh, what does that mean? 6, 12, 18? Let's see what happens. No, that doesn't do anything. back the way we came. There's still one more spot we need to explore. That's the exit. Let's go back up over here. Passage was at. We activated that switch, which I didn't quite catch what it did, but I assume it did something good. Okay, let's continue over here. We haven't gone down here. Okay, what is this gonna do? supposed to make 
that symbol on the floor, right? Oh, we're supposed to make this symbol. Okay. Got it. There we go. That was easy. Uh, where is that door? Okay, so two doors opened up. I know where one of them is located. So it's down to the two of us now. kind of like System Shock, where you pick up like these little records, or you see these uh, past events, or like Tacoma. If you guys haven't played Tacoma, it's kind of similar. You can rewind and play the past events before, uh, before something terrible happened on the spaceship. I won't spoil it. I do not know where that other door was at. Alright, well, let's go. Okay, that's the big door. I know about the big door. This game is absolutely fantastic. Hey, Chocobodes and Isengard. I like the name. I like the name. Yeah, this game is good so far. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm only about an hour and a half in. But, uh, yeah, Epic gave it away for free, and I watched the trailer and I thought, okay, this seems like a pretty, uh, pretty good type of uh, indie adventure game that uh, would be right up my alley. Yeah, I played Rhyme recently. If you haven't played that, that's another good game that's kind of in the same vein as this. Oh, let's activate it. Yeah, right now we're on the second temple. Alright. A bridge above us. So there's another door we have to find, and then there's that bridge we have to explore. So let's... let's figure that out. Can't do anything here just yet. Thank you, it's a beautiful storyline, not spoiling anything though. Yeah, I like these games that don't explicitly tell you what's going on. Like, you have to kind of piece it together as you play the game. I like a little bit of mystery. Uh, okay, so I opened that door. Um, yeah, I'm just a little, <laughs> a little lost every so often. No interior map. I have no real direction sense. So I think we just go back the way we, the way we came. Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. I already did that. Change the symbols. So let's go back to the original puzzle. There is another door that opened up. I couldn't tell what location it was from. Uh, I guess it's just down here. Uh, maybe I can open up this door as well. I do that simple, right? Oh, it's already open. Okay, never mind. When the creator made the world, he woke the gods to care for it. First swam the Watcher of the Veil high in the skies, a mighty guardian against the black cold endlessness, forever singing soothing songs to the great dreamer, lest she awaken from the dream of our world. Yeah, we play a lot of uh, Indian retro games here. Chocobo. Uh, right now we've been on kind of a retro kick. We played uh, Rhyme, we played the Red Strings Club, Piku Niku, Gato Roboto, Axiom Verge, uh, just a ton of games by uh, small indie uh, studios. Alright, hold on. I, let me get my direction sense here. Was there anything else in there? I don't think there was. Look. No. No. Okay. But so far, 
storyline wise I just know that this world was once one big continent and then the void broke the continent apart into three floating temples slash islands uh, that's pretty much it oh and wanderers can sync up or link to animals so I guess in my case I linked up with a bird uh that isn't lit up. That isn't lit up. There's another door. Where was that door? Actually, let's go upstairs. That bridge was uh, connected. So let's do that. Uh, there's an easier way to get back upstairs. Hold on. Then you got these lights at the top. 18 of them. Yeah, this is the shortcut. Open this side door. Yeah. Okay, this door is open. Is there anything back here? We can examine it, though. When we die, our souls rejoin eternity of which they were made. You're like Indian RPG? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of Indian, a lot of RPG game. Uh, not in, uh, RPG retro games. Uh, RPG wise. Mostly like console based RPGs. Uh, I do play a few uh, PC RPGs like uh, KOTOR 2 I just recently streamed, but thank you for the follow. Yeah, I try to play games because I, I don't have a whole lot of time to play nowadays, so I try to avoid like the epic 100 plus hour RPGs, uh, streaming them at least. Yeah, because uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2 took me about. 40 some odd hours, maybe 50 hours. Uh, Fallout, the original Fallout I played, took around 25 to 30. I do have Fallout 2, so I will stream that. I did enjoy that a lot. But on the whole, I try to keep the uh, games I play to like 20 hours or less. Uh, until such time as the body dies and becomes dust again, and the star flies back into the skies behind the veil to dream. Is that a Monkey Island alert? Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Monkey Island is probably, not probably, definitely my favorite point-and-click adventure series of all time. Love, love that series. Though Maniac Mansion and Day of the Tentacle are a very close second. Uh, when the gods left us, they went amidst the stars to search for our new home. And when they find it, there too will be, uh, will we be born again. Okay. Let's cross over. Don't know how to activate this just yet. I'm sure it's in here. Up the stairs. that hole, I guess? Yeah, it looks like it. Or maybe not, actually. Eesh, it didn't work. It did not work. I cannot get through that. Huh. Yeah, totally understandable. Everyone has a different preference. Yeah. Um... I do here. Alright, maybe I shouldn't go here just yet. That door is closed. Yeah, I don't think any amount of platforming will get me through that. It's just blocked. No, it's blocked. Alright, I need to figure out how to get past that. Let's get back downstairs. Uh, let's find that other door. I feel like that's the key to where we need to go. It's just a matter of figuring out where it is. Look around. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It's up here. Anything? No. Where 
Where's that door? Can't activate that. Uh, let's take the long way around. Maybe it's on the way. Because there's no dialogue here. No. Okay. Uh, okay, let's, I guess let's fall down. Yeah. Anything over here doesn't look like it. Wait, have we been there? Hold on. That's where we fell down from. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the main room. Where was that door at? There was a broken pillar right in front of it. That's where I remember. Door's closed. We can't access that. up here? Yeah, we can, but it doesn't take us anywhere. Oh, that's just that shortcut. If we ever access it, or we'll get that open. Hmm, okay, that door's closed. I haven't figured out this puzzle. Do these lights do anything? Oh, okay. Got you. Okay, there's a pattern. Okay. Oh! Alright. Nice. Uh, what's next? else to activate. Okay. That's powered up. It's being blocked by that pillar. Let's see if we can figure out a way to move it. Save it. I did encounter one glitch early on in the game where I fell through the stairs into oblivion. But other than that, the game's been solid. Turn it. Oh, activate it. So it passes it like a repeater. Let's see if we can make it up here. Not spoiling, it's a little bit hard. Oh man. I am uh, not great at puzzles. Uh, one second, let me go ahead and let the, uh, the dog out of my office. He's freaking out. Uh, one second. Generally not, not great at puzzles. <laughs> not great at puzzles. Yeah, if you like this game, Chocobos, um, there's this other game that was just given away for free by Amazon Prime. If you have an Amazon Prime subscription called Vane. It looks very similar to this. I do plan on streaming Vane as well. Another game where you can turn into a bird. Uh, let's click this. Activate this pillar. False, you puzzle well. Oh, thank you, thank you. I will say, like, I was playing this other game that's kind of like Braid and Hue and like Limbo. It's called The Bridge. That game whooped my ass. I could not figure out that game at all. The puzzles were just, I, I couldn't wrap my head around it. Can I jump up here? No, I can't. Uh, here? Oh, yes, here. I do like games with like these abstracty type puzzles. 
Right now I'm playing The Witness with my wife, and we're having a terrible time. Yeah, you remember the bridge, right, Sleeper? <laughs> you remember the bridge. Oh, that's all we needed to do. Okay, now that that's activated, that opens that door. That door is still closed to us. I usually, ooh, this is kind of cool. I usually walk away for a while when I'm trying to figure puzzles out. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's kind of the mark of a good game. Um, I had a very similar experience playing Braid. There was this one puzzle that I spent probably like 30 minutes to an hour just wrecking my brain trying to figure out. So I finally decided to take a break, go for a walk, eat some dinner, you know, kind of just get rid of it, you know, get, take it out of my mind. But uh, when I came back, five minutes later, I had the puzzle solved. It was like super easy. Just the solution wasn't immediately obvious. Uh, all right, let's go back upstairs. Now that these pillars are activated, then that door is open. We can get in using the shortcut. Totally about bird games, no bias or anything. Yeah, I mean, not necessarily bird games for me. It seems like these hidden, like, ancient civilization type worlds, right? Where it's like you're exploring a dead civilization or a civilization that's under attack. And you're trying to figure out how everything ties together. I definitely enjoy games like that. Where you're not sure what's really going on, but you have like a hint of what's going on. The bridge was tough. Yeah, the bridge was tough. Like, I, I, okay, so I like the bridge, but it was, it was, it's just too difficult for me. Way too difficult for me. All right, this is open. I still haven't found that door. Wherever that door was, it must be near the end. Oh. Since heights don't kill us, let's just slide down. Oh, apparently we didn't need that door. What the hell? It's a whale. Closer, little champion. I won't ruffle your feathers. I am the Watcher of the Veil. I guard this world from eternity. But I have spent many years trying to close the rifts that threaten this world. Now, without the faith of your kind, my powers are almost gone. There isn't much left of the first dream of the Great Dreamer, the dream we call our home. Did you know that the first dream brought forth the Creator? His only weakness was his tender spot for your kind, little human. To create you, he linked his heart to yours, but your hearts grew empty. Shocked by the emptiness dwelling in himself, the creator ripped the void out of his heart. But time changes many things, and a new little champion stands before me, a human one even. Listen now, champion, these are my last words. You have to oppose the void that has come to our world once again. Don't falter, you still have to find the last fragment. Here, take my fragment. It all rests upon your shoulders now, little champion. Whee. Yeah, another good game if you guys like games of this genre. I believe I mentioned it. Uh, another streamer, Huffshi, Huff. He played it, it's called Abzu, it's by the creators of Journey. V for Void. Alright, let's uh, fast travel out of here. Northern Lights.
Hmm. So we have one temple and the final piece, right? Which I didn't really mention what the final piece was. Maybe it's like the fifth element. Maybe it's love. I bet it's love. How long do you stream today, handsome? I will be streaming for uh, another hour or so. Usually I try, I try to stream like two to three hours every day. But uh, depending on how close we get to the end of this game, if I'm like really close to finishing it, I may go over just to uh, just to wrap it up all in one stream. Nothing more that I hate than uh, starting a stream and finishing a game like 20 minutes later. Uh, okay, so one more temple. Let's let's fly. Now the real question is, Dom, are you streaming King's Quest tonight? I would like to see some King's Quest. Hey, cool, let me know, because I'll flip to King's Quest 1 just for you, because I adore you. Why, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You will enjoy King's Quest 1. It's not a super long game, either. And they did enough modern changes that it's, uh... It's not a, it's not a super difficult game. I don't know if you ever played the original King's Quest 1, but it was a text parser. Like, you had to type, pick up, cloth, open, door. And some of the puzzles were just... I don't know how anyone figured them out on their own without a game guide. Sierra games were just notoriously difficult back in the day. Where's the other temple at? I got to the king and then the crocs ate me. Okay, so you got a pretty good uh, ways in. <laughs> Wait, isn't the king at the very beginning, right? It's been, uh, it's been a few years since I played it. Uh, uh headbutt. I am Ura, a guardian of the land of gods. I made this record so that my children and children's children may remember. I made it two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that game doesn't have any sort of uh pathing. You can literally just walk off the bridge. On the day of the Great Divide, when our world shattered, I was still a child. I remember sitting at the white stairs of the southern sitting of southern city of Urzha. We had planned to journey to the west, but since the God King had waged war on our city, our lands were not safe anymore, and we stayed inside the city walls. The God King, Koroku, he was called, had built horrible weapons, flying machines of raining fire, but we always thought them far away, or even empty rumors. Hmm. The music was taunting me with some slapstick music, yeah. Yeah, the game likes to, like, you know, rub dirt in your face while you're down, or, you know, kick you while you're down. Oh, we can say the fuck word here? I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah, we can say, we can say a lot of things here. This is not a child-friendly stream. You know, as long as it's all in moderation, right? And this goes without saying, obviously, no racist, sexist things. Shouldn't have to be said, but, you know, just in case. When the bell started ringing, fire and tears mixed in a horrible rain over us. We wept and screamed to the gods to end us, but were answered by silence. Then the ground trembled, great cracks appeared, and split the white stone walls of Urza. Urza? Is that H silent? I think that H is silent. Urza. And people fell into the black depths of the earth. I saw my loved ones disappear into the heaving earth, and when, my, when the steps beneath me broke, I fell too. But my spirit animal spoke to me, and I remembered and spread my wings. I do not know how, but I flew for a long time over broken lands and stormy clouds. Hmm. My main emo. What? That is cool. Is that a, is that a Chocobo doing two thumbs up? I like it. I like it. <laughs> do you stream two Chocobos? What do you stream? Oops. Pause. Uh, let's save it. I arrived at the outskirts of the land of gods half dead. A bird giving the burn. Oh, okay. Flipping people off. Got it. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's actually been a while since I've played a Final Fantasy game. The last big one I played was Final Fantasy X-2, the uh, Charlie's Angels style Final Fantasy, where you're uh, Luna and her uh, 
her uh, girl team going out and doing missions. Yeah. I uh, arrived at the outskirts of the land of the gods, half dead, and fell unconscious on its grass. When I woke there, a priestess sat beside me, tending my wounds. She said that Urza was no more and that the world had been shattered. A god had sacrificed himself to seal a void from our hearts, and broken the world in, pro progress, in the process. Many had died, but so had the god king, and his city of On was no more. Our shattered world was now at peace. I wept, and still, after many years, I weep at the memory of this day and the terrible cost of this peace. Alright. Um, looking for... Uh, up? Up above, maybe? I do stream, I do a lot of RPGs recently, I've been working on Octopath Traveler, Greedfall, and Dragon Age. Yeah, Octopath Traveler is on my wish list. I remember when it first came out for the Switch, it looked really interesting, and I saw a lot of people streaming it. Um... Oh, I see, uh, I see the fox. Is that our fox? Let's see. Hey, bud. No, it's not our fox. Alright, uh, we need to find a temple, and I'm just not sure where it's at. Octopath is classic JRPG, but horrible voice acting. Really? Hmm. I have been kind of in the mood for playing a classic JRPG. My favorites of all time are definitely Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy IV. I played Chrono Trigger last year for the first time. I really enjoyed that, but still, Final Fantasy VI is like the top Japanese RPG for me. I don't... I don't think this is it. Let's keep looking. Uh, maybe up this way. Let's go up this way. Further east, I think. Yeah. Gotta go do the grocery thing. See you soon. Alright, Sleeper, thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you next time. If, we, if I end up finishing this game, I'll post a highlight of the ending. Ah, uh, fall. I need to remaster Breath of Fire. Uh, I will say, I have actually never fully played through a Breath of Fire game. It's uh, one of the blind spots in my JRPG list that I hope to play in the future. Cheesy McShit shit voice acting. Like dramatic readings from your local theater group in a black box with turtlenecks. Stuffy and too much. Oh, okay, so just like, they're laying it on too thick. You know what game had some really good voice acting? Oxen Free. Holy shit, that game was impressive. God, I really love that game. It's up here. Uh, uh, nothing, I think. Hold on a second. What's down here? Got some silhouettes here. Pack your things, sister. The rumors are true. We are leaving for the west. The priestess will give us shelter. Letting us hunting. <laughs> How was the voice acting in the Final Fantasy VII remake? Did they make Barrett a stereotype again? I hope they didn't. Because his uh, his dialogue in the original Final Fantasy XI was uh, very cringy. Uh, maybe I just gotta go in here. Maybe not. This is probably the final dungeon, so to speak. Oh, I see it, I see it. Inside lies halls of knowledge and safekeeping, scrolls on the walls, and shafts stretching down into the deep. We do like shafts. It was a place of great power, together with Leafla of the Great Tree in the West. Kara sealed it and wait for the right time. We ride west. 
Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Guessing right here. Home of thousands, we built this shrine to stand beacon and as, and as home to the birds of these lands. Much as birds did for us in ancient days. They have been our friends since forever. They scouted the lands and settled in places of soil which could sustain us. When we still were the tribes in the wild, we traveled with the birds as they moved. We trusted them to mark the moment of change. They taught us to be nomads and shaped us to what we became. Okay. Another pillar. What's on top of it? Turning, turning. These birds don't move. Uh, let's keep going west. Nope. West. Uh, let's keep going west. We're looking for a cave. Fly through these? Oh, we can. That was pretty cool. What is that? It's a broken piece of rock. Yeah. Uh, west, which I guess is right here. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh my god! Hey, huh? What's going on, man? How have you been? You might be in a commercial. How are things? We're playing Air, Memories of Old. By a little indie studio that uh, is actually no longer around called Forgotten Key. They went out of business. So far, enjoying the game. The puzzles are... They're not that difficult, I'll be honest. And I'm not like, you know, patting myself on the back. Puzzles are very light. It's too hot here. I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Hey, did you end up 100%ing uh, Abzu? I was actually just talking about it with some of the viewers here. I really liked Abzu, but I really like Journey, so of course I would like Abzu. Of Urza, which we loved, lost, and longed for. Cities of cities, city of cities, bright and dead. The white swan of marble, raising her long neck elegantly into the purple sky. Her eyes, a thousand souls, swimming the lake of the never-ending afternoon, in the heart of spring. Her song, a million hearts, praising the beauty of life, undiminished and brief. A petal on the wind of fall. The white swan of marble, folding her luminous wings silently in the ashen dusk, never to be seen again. Alright. Very pretty sounding. Yeah, 100% at all. Only missed two fish spawn pools. Not hard to track. That's good. That's good. What are you, uh, what are you playing next? Uh, or what have you been playing? Uh, where is... I'm looking for the cave entrance. I need a key for the final temple here. Thought maybe I could hit that, break through it. He said it was west. Maybe it's straight north, right? We haven't seen that. We haven't seen what's in the corner here. Let's go north. Clouds. Huh. Not sure, probably something else Saturday night. Something short suits a Saturday night. Uh, if you haven't played this game yet, you might enjoy it. The Creator Shrine. Uh, there's only three temples. We're searching for, like, the fragments of this amulet thing to stop the void. What I'm really looking forward to in, what, two days? Uh, Epic's giving away a remnant from the ashes. I definitely want to play that co-op with somebody someday, uh, sometime. 
Uh, he said west, right? Hold on, let's go back. What did he say it was called? Let's... What's the name of the place we're looking for? Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's Dark Soulsy and it has, you know, a fully cooperative mode. I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. I just wasn't interested in paying for it. <laughs> uh, let's go. Yeah. It's on top here, right? Oop, right there. Ah, nope, that didn't work. Steering, steering. Uh, okay. Um, the great tree in the west. Okay. That would be right there. So it has to be there. Great tree in the west. Great tree in the west. Find the key. Do the final temple. Let's see what more they tell us. It's over here. Now I'm just curious. It's the last part of the map we haven't been to. Let's just look really quick. Ruins of On. So that's the old city based on what the tablets have been saying. We'll come back to that. We have to find the great tree, which is right there. Or maybe not. I mean, it looks like the great tree. Leaf loves. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Fly up. There it is. All right. Okay. I guess I have to fly through them to open this door. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Well, I see a silhouette here. No, no dialogue. Been doing point and clicks for Sundays for the past few weeks. That's right, you finished, uh, did you finish Beneath the Steel Sky? That's what you were playing, uh, a few days ago, I think, right? Thinking, uh, Curse of Enchantia to Universe. Both really nice games on Amiga. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, what was that game that you were playing on Amiga? It was like a detective game. That's what I remember. Uh, so I have to fly through... Yes, I do have to fly through these. You did finish it? Nice. Oh, too fast, too fast. I don't have brakes. One. I just basically have to do this like it's pilot wings. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to slow down when I when I pick up speed. Two. There's only three, right? I hope there's only three. I don't know where the other one's at. It came from the desert. I'm very bad at it because you put yourself out of action too long. Yeah. Eesh. Just barely. Uh, that did not... Did that open it? No, it's still closed. Where's the other pillar at? Over here?
Nope, this is it. This is not it. I am off course. Maybe it's open. Let's just go look. Let's go look. It's closed. Ugh. No, it's still... Oh! Let's see. Did that work? Oh, okay. It was just three. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Save it. Alright, let's get this key. And finish this final temple. What time is it? Hmm. We still got time. We might be able to finish this game. Hold on a second. Get our lamp out. The heartwood. Yeah, this game is very pretty. I like it. It's too bad they went out of business, because I really would have liked to have seen what they come up with next. Is that you, Kara? No, that can't be right. Who are you? I need to get out. Out! I am weak. It's the rock. It's not of this world. The rift, further down in the cavern. Close it. Let's go save the deer. Down in the cavern. Close it. Looking. How do I get inside? Activate something up here. No, I do need to jump on to some light platforming. Got it. Get on that. Oh, I see. I see. Got it. Jump on that cliff side and go all the way to the top. And that should work. Yeah, here. That's where I need to go. Oh, I just missed it. This one. Oh, son of a. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Make it from here. <gasps> yes, just barely. I jumped too early. I jumped too early. Next one. Okay. I can do this. There we go. And I'm in.
Oops. All right, let's go talk to our dear friend. Ha ha, ha ha ha. You, you did it. I feel much better already. Thank you. I was beginning to fear a fate where I would fade away. Kuroku's men took hold of my home. They wanted the magic of this place. I fought for so long, but I am just one and they were so many. At least I kept the most important secret, and it's the one you are looking for too, is it? Isn't it? I have what you need. Here, take the key. It was my task to protect it, and so I have. Thanks again, young one. I'll leave the rest to you now. One second. Just taking screenshots of the game, because I really like the way it looks. Don't judge me. Okay, let's get out of here. It's our friend, the fox. Hi, my friend. What leads a bird to the east? And to visit Lefla Leafla on top of that. Oh, so she held the key all this time. Use it where it belongs, further east, and a dash north. Close to my home, to be true. But answer me this. How come temples lead downwards when people look to the sky for answers? It has eluded me for centuries, but that's fine. Humans are special creatures, to say the least. I know exactly where to take this. So I guess once we do this final temple, we can go to the Creator's Tower and go up towards the sky and fix the world or repair the world. We are going east. Northeast, actually. And it's highlighted, so we know exactly where we need to go. Coming in hot. These are holy grounds, not just another power source for the taking. Enter temple. Okay. Alright. How difficult are these puzzles going to be? We shall see. Saving. How's the Western Monument coming along? Uh, only one way to go. And that's left. Yeah. Yeah, down 
the stairs. Nope, there's no way down. Except jumping down. Oh, I see. It's over here. It doesn't appear to be anything. dreams of the people are calm again. I hope this whole ordeal with the king is nothing more than an old man worrying about nothing. Hmm. Nothing over here, right? Oh, there is a switch. That will open this door at some point. So, gotta remember that. found a fortune. There are multiple pockets of air below. Loads more than we had anticipated. Okay, so air is currency. The elevator is working again. Who keeps turning off the main switch? Uh, so we have two doors. So both doors are available. It's over here, though. Door that's not activated. Um, over here. I guess we need to complete those two doors before we can do anything. Uh, I do see something up there. that do? Oh, that's one of the three, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess there's probably nothing behind this waterfall, is there? No. You know, game developers. side doesn't look like it yeah so we're going back upstairs to those two doors Based. Nope, I can't make that. Uh, let's see what we need to do here. Is this the last one? Yes, the other dreams are locked up in the storage. Let's come back to this. Nothing else here. Uh, okay, so let's do this all the way down. Bring it 
this all the way down. And we can use that as a platform to hop onto the second door. Yeah. Okay. left side. Down the stairs. Hmm. Uh, looks like some silhouettes. Should we remove these old scrolls before we start up the drill? right? Maybe? Yeah. Oh shit, almost fell. Okay. a shortcut. Yeah, it's a shortcut. Uh, let's go back. I think there was one more direction. We oh, wait. Never mind. We can't go back that way. Ah. So this was the second door, so we're still missing a, uh, a switch. do huh oh this is the elevator right yeah I think we missed a part here yeah another floor so we figured out how to open that uh, I guess let's do it again Let's do it again. So I think the right side was probably where we needed to go. Okay, we haven't been over here. Went left. Oh, maybe there's nothing here. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Feast in honor of the only god Karoku, forever in his reign, king of kings, and soon the ruler of the known world. down. Yeah, 
yeah, this is the same way we just came from. Uh, okay, let's find the other... Oh, what's up there? How do I get up there so I can read that? Uh, let, me, let me wander back up. I want to read that. If it lets me. second. Do I want to become famous? Oh, man. That is a really good sales pitch. But enjoy your ban. Let's see. Oh, right here. Oh, I know that's where I came from. How do I... Where is it? He's underneath me, right? Ugh. No, this is it. Damn. Okay. Alright, let's just go back to the main entrance. this last cube is at. Well, let's go all the way down. That is not open. That's the... That's the elevator. I did see a door as it was coming back around. Hold on a second, let's try it. Yeah, there was another door. So maybe if I just like press against the wall? That. No? not. No, that doesn't help. Hmm. Yeah, what was that? What was that? I'm guessing we're not supposed to be able to do that. Uh, let's go all the way downstairs. Missing. Look around some more. Ugh. Wish the jumping was a little bit more forgiving. No. I just need to go through that pipe. I don't think I do. find a blue diamond. Where the hell would that be at? Here? Oh, through here. No, it's a dead end. Never mind. Oh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Let's see. Uh, 
garage, not down here. Gotta be through those two doors, right? Yeah, what about this door? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why does that not load? It has to be through here, right? Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. See, look, there's a door that comes here. You see it? That's the way we started. Oh, this is... What am I missing? I thought I saw another door that we could go through. Let's try it. Right here. Right there. What is that? I can't get through it. Backtrack. Let's backtrack. Where do we need to go? Make our way back up. It's usually something up. Oop. This. Right? Ah, uh, so it was that second door. I thought that was one big tunnel. There we go. That was a waste of time. Doing some platforming. Uh, <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's not miss the first jump. Oops. That should activate it. men are soon here. We need to hurry. I hope the scrolls will be safe. So the king is not a nice guy. There we go. Alright, let's drop down. Scrolls here. Let's read this. Save it first. When the creator made the humans, the keeper of dreams came forward and stood guard. He saw the link between the great dreamer and eternity. Sometimes fear and nightmares were born into the world, and when snatched up by human thought, they turned into horrible realities. So he prepared powerful songs of time and peace. Stories to lead the nightmares astray, and he trapped them in eternal scrolls and stored them away. Horrible stories never to come true, stored and forgotten in the halls of his sleep. Hmm. Did I mix, mix, miss the perfect stream bit bot blocking? No, it actually got through. I had to manually block it. But yeah. Someone wanted to make me famous, Huff. Someone wanted to make me famous. Let's get down here. Activate this. And finish this last temple. Uh, 
Ah, oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Let's save that. I'm like a tourist. You know, Epic Games, you really need to have the ability to take screenshots in-game. Or maybe they do. Maybe I just don't know what it is. Alright, let's talk. So the time has come, finally. Then this marks the time for the Keeper of Dreams to wake from this daydream and to resign. How could I protect your people from the nightmares that lurked within their dreams as you cease to believe in me? I doubt you will be able to overcome the shadow that lurks in your world, little human. There is a shadow in every human being as well. A shadow called emptiness that can't be filled with power nor possessions. Shallow minds led way for the void to come into existence, eating everything away. The creator had to sacrifice himself to lock away the ravenous void, and the land and skies were shattered in the great divide. Heed my word, little human. You might return to the lighthouse in the southwest where your kind raised their camp. Make the three fragments whole again. For myself, I claim the deep sleep and leave my concerns to you. I am free. Last fragment. Hmm. So the void is emptiness. All right, let's go to the tower, the creator's tower. And finish this game, I guess, yeah? All right, final level. We sort of wait to do like a barrel roll or something. Let's go to the top of the tower. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Guessing where it's breaking. Let's do a, a long approach here. There it is. Oh, I guess we just go straight in. supposed to do here the hell I'm missing something said make the fragments whole again Maybe down? I uh, don't really see anything. Oops, shit. Clouds. 
Hmm. That's weird. How do I make the fragments whole again? I think it'd be right here. Gotta be something obvious. He said go to the tower. I'm at the tower. Um Maybe we need to go back to to Dana. Let's try that. I can talk to Dana. Maybe she will tell me what I need to do. Uh, where is she? I think she might have been further south. Where is she? Where is she? Maybe I have to talk to the animals to make it whole again. Settlement. Oof. All right, let's talk. Hey. Uh, let's see. No, nope. talk to Medvin. I don't have any more clues. I'm afraid the cave in the Black Rock carries light. It's all very vexing. You met with the last caretaker, at least. For some reason, it feels like your pilgrimage that that became my most important task, not my own. The world isn't right. Snow creeps south. Animals are found dead. You are different somehow. Like you are glowing, but not with light. More like a presence or warmth. And yet the world itself seems to have grown colder. Kara prayed by the lighthouse to seek her answers in the old days. It's your turn to do the same now. I'll meet you up there. The lighthouse. Hey, Auk. I'm glad you're back. So you visited the last caretaker? You truly are amazing. Did you know Aaron went on an expedition? I knew she would. Call it mother's intuition. Or influence, I guess. I hope she will take after you as well. We were lucky enough to be around so long in the first place. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Like the world holds its breath. Talk to Medvin about what happened to the last caretaker. See if he can make sense of everything. I already did. It was a great adventure. You think so too, right? I was all the way to the other side of the island. I discovered lots of stuff. Dad was kind of mad when I got home again. I had to promise to tell him when I went to explore. It's not as fun when they know I'm exploring. I'm old enough to go on adventures by myself. Next time I might take the sky boat and go to faraway places, but you can't tell them I told you, okay? All right, so this is Medvin, right? Mm. Yep, so we have to go to the lighthouse. Lighthouse? Not the tower. Is that the lighthouse right there? All right, let's go. Lighthouse. Making sure it's not nearby. Yep. Yeah, this is not the. Or maybe this is. Oh, I see it. Hold on a second. Ugh. 
place tablet. Got it. Open the door. All right. Can I pick this up? Let's talk. Yo. Goodbye for now, Auk. I hope to see you again. Blessing be with you, young pilgrim. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but I think this is all meant for you, Auk. Follow the beam to the Greater Shrine. Hmm. Auk, are you alright, child? This is eerily similar to the text I translated. The lighthouse shone a brilliant beam. At least it's not another divide. What would we even call it? The Greater Divide? I don't think your pilgrimage ends here, I'm afraid. Even though you have already gone further than all before you. Whatever it is that you will face at the end of this path, I am confident that you will, as always, come home safely, full of interesting news. You have found out so much, so much I never would have dreamed of understanding of the ancients and our past. Go on now, find out what lies at the end of this light beam. Auk, please be careful. Mm. Auk, what's happening? Where are you going? Promise to come back. You'll have to tell me everything about it. Alright, let's go. Hmm, cat hair. Yeah, we're going straight towards the crater's tower. something lit over there. Do you see that? What is that? Ooh. What's over here? I'm just curious. Nope, can't do anything with it. Alright. So, very linear. Let's keep going to the tower. One second, guys. tower. If this is another uh, puzzle, then I'll probably go ahead and stop the stream here and we'll finish it tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But if this is like really, really close to the ending, I'm just going to finish it out. Wait, listen to me. Do you know me? I am Kara. Time is short, and I'll try to explain. You are of my blood. Once a great, uh, the creator infused me with some of his light, his hope and his dreams, his power at the time of the Great Divide. This power is yours too, Auk. It has saved you from the Void's touch. He is stronger here, however. I will shield you for as long as I can, but we don't have much time. You are about to enter the prison of the Void. 
His prison is outside our world, and there I cannot help you at all. Follow me. I don't know if you're still around, Chocobo, but how close am I to the end? Well, maybe like 15 minutes away I'll continue, but if there's another another temple or another series of puzzles I have to solve, I'll probably cut it here and continue it tomorrow. Let's see. Understand, Auk. I am a memory of my old self, and now that I have left the lantern, I will soon fade away. I can only speak to you here and now. There is no turning back. This is the only chance we have. The people of the sky closed our hearts to the void, but it was not enough. He has almost broken free from his prison. We can't stop him from devouring our world. Not without you. You can put an end to what was started so long ago. I'm sorry, there are so many things I want to tell you, so many things I would like to ask you, but we don't have the time. These last steps are not for me to wander. It's up to you now. It's up to what you really are. This door leads to a realm in between our world and eternity, and this is where you will find the void. You must finish what the created started, and make whole what was shattered. I know you can do it, Ock. This is goodbye, I'm afraid. I will watch over you with all the might I have left in me. I believe in you. second guys let me take just a quick quick break i will be right back Let's finish this. Oh, uh, we can't save it.
Okay. Oh, that was it? Really? Hmm. Hmm. So I wonder what the meaning of all that was. Like, were we supposed to stop the emptiness, or is the emptiness a part of us? Thanks, Sean. Yeah, interesting game. I'm surprised it did not sell better than it did. Kind of sucks that this studio just basically went out of business. Hey, done already. GG. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. It was a fairly short game. I liked it, though. I really did like it. Like, I'm kind of left wanting more. Like, I wanted more of this game. Like, I would like to play more. I'd like to discover other worlds. Maybe introduce, you know, a few more, you know, game mechanics. But, uh, yeah, short and sweet. Yeah, so this studio folded, I guess, soon after they made this game, due to poor sales. And I don't know if the lead developer is making anything. Or if he's went to, uh, gone to another company, or started another company. But, uh, yeah, it was good. I liked it. I liked it. Carlston Fatalman? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to use the bathroom. Alright, we're back. Uh, we finished the game. I take it there was no after credits sequence. I honestly don't know why games like this hold no appeal for me. Uh, I mean, you know, everyone has their, their taste in what games they like. Yeah, for me, I, I like these type of games because the puzzles are kind of light and I feel like I'm exploring a new world, right? It's it's always something something new or something different. So, uh, you know, I, I, can, I don't have to worry about... Uh, combat or you know padding in uh in games like it generally just it gets to the point but uh yeah i don't what i don't understand is like games like these right something like um let's see like rhyme right rhyme i think sold pretty well but this game which i feel like is equivalent or just as good you know you know obviously a bit shorter didn't sell as well so I it's just I can't figure out why certain indie adventure games sell and others don't like this was a good game I liked it you know I would have liked to to have been longer but you know overall like I I, I want to see what this guy comes up with next so it's just weird that this game didn't sell very well like so much that the studio folded but we finished another game on stream in one stream actually I went a little over my three hour stream limit but uh I think it was fine. Yeah, I have no idea why some games hit and some don't. Maybe it's just maybe it's just marketing. Who knows? This game came out in 2017. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I definitely got to hit up the developer and give him a thanks because uh, I wish this game had sold more for him. Because I'd be super interested in seeing what he comes up with next. Or if he's even still in the game, video game industry. But, uh, yeah... Marketing could be it. There are so many games. How do you get noticed? Yeah. Yeah, like, honestly, 
I would not have noticed this game if Epic had not given it to me. Like, I'd never heard of it before, beforehand. Like, I logged into Epic, I saw there were a couple free games, and I was like, well, memories of old, let's look up the trailer. And, uh, yeah, that was it. I was sold, I was ready to stream it. But thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, Chug Rose, thank you for the follow. Dom, thank you for the dramatic reading, always fun. Uh, Sean, D, thank you for the subs. And Huff, thank you for the raid. And thanks everyone just, you know, for hanging out. I appreciate you guys going me, <laughs> hanging out with me on these little indie, these indie trips I go on. Uh, we'll be back on tomorrow streaming. Who knows what? Who knows what? We could do another indie adventure game, or we could do, um, what is it? Thistleweed Park? It's been a while since we did a point and click adventure, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll wake up and I'll make a decision then. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Let's find uh, someone to raid. Who's playing? Um, let's see. Uh, Herc Zena is playing Alien Nations. Let's shoot him a raid. Yeah, let's shoot him a raid. All right, guys. Hopefully, I see you tomorrow, and we will continue more indie games until we're done until our backlog is complete all right see you guys later